Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays today with a TVT on Coda Letter Edition. As you have spawning in the left top position, it's the Blue Terran Barcode. Hype! And his opponent spawning in the right bottom position, it's the Red Terran Alexasher. That's me. Woo! And this guy was Diamond, so... But a barcode diamond, and I don't know if he played a lot of games here, if it's a smurf, I have no clue, but it has to be a crazy one. So let's see what we might see out of that game. Could be very, very interesting. For now, easy as supply depot. Standard stuff, but uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, there is one SCV moving out with that. So that looks like a proxy 11 racks. It's not a 888 Reaper, for that it's too late, but it could be uh, 11 regs. And the problem with that though is the SV. I, I know where it wants to head, yeah, right there, sure, but it's so late, so it's not a uh, 11. It's. Oh, it is a 11 back at home. Look at that sneaky guy. So he's, he's faking the normal timing of the barracks with that. And sure, he, I guess he might let it finish, but behind that, the real proxy is here. And so it looks like a normal standard stuff if, I, if one SAV would scout right now. Which could be the case. Yeah, SAV could come in right now, that would be a normal timing. Then he sees, okay, no gas, barracks, everything fine. If you don't count the SAVs at the minerals, you won't uh, suspect, uh, expect uh, 11 wrecks. You won't. Uh, because it's just one SCV missing at, at those uh, mineral fields. Maybe two. I'm not quite sure about that. But you don't really see it. It's hard to see. And there we go with the command center morphing into an orbital command. The problem is I'm going for gas first. And gas first is very vulnerable to any proxy stuff like proxy marauder. Yeah, you can deal with it, but it's hard without a bunker. And because of the build, the, the Tasia's... Uh, auto to a doom drop I'm not scouting the first scout I'm getting is with the hellion because otherwise all my timings wouldn't fit it's just not possible for this build order without uh, not scouting you, you need to skip scouting SCV and yeah third barracks on the way so these are oh, very smart he's faking it I mean that's that's good that's really smart play here out of this guy and it's super strong. He will have a ton of uh, marines out, while I just have, yeah, a couple of marines and a hellion. Which is not a good spot. I mean, I got a lot of gas, but it's not very helpful when the attack hits. And there you go. Marines on the way. Oh, look at that. He's pulling SCVs. He's letting two SCVs behind and one new just to mine and produce stuff. And that's fine. It's enough to produce more and more uh, units. So how many? He got eight marines. Look at that, eight marines against four, and three more in production. And he can produce more because of the new. And the two, two, yeah, new. And the SVs. And there we go. He will pull everything. Ah, uh, that's that's not good for me. So let's jump to the unit unit tab. There he goes. The Marines at the front, not too good. The Hellion, ooh, doesn't want to lose that. So the Supply Depot, buying myself a little bit of time here, but I have to pull everything myself, and now it's very important. The Marines, uh, I got the splash damage with the Hellion. The Hellion is the most important part of all of that, because uh, it's so close. Am I losing the Hellion? And now, uh, it looks like he's done it. Oh, it's so close. He got three Marines left. Seven marines, and they're walking in one by one. <laughs> the raven finishes! Okay, so we have the auto turret. We're just dealing good damage here. Uh, focus fire onto the marines, which is good, but the auto turret falls. I should have repaired it, I guess. And I got one hellion, but against three marines, that's not really good. So I'm down to eight SCVs mining, and this one mule is not mining whatsoever! That's a huge mistake! Ah, uh, the SCV doesn't fall here. I got just one hell. Oh, that was a nice with the splash damage, killing two units here. But I can't produce anything because the one mule wasn't doing stuff. And mm, 
Nine marines against one hellion. You should go for the hellion. Go for the mineral line. Don't go for the factory. Uh, you need to kill. Yeah, killing the factory would be nice. Oh, I might lose the hellion. Oh, it's so close. Six HP, just one shot away. Losing another. Oh, the factory falls. Losing another SUV there. Mm, it's not looking good. The problem is that the hellion needs to deal real splash damage. There's one marine here. Oh, that's good splash. Ah, killing the marines there. Another auto turret. I guess I hold it. And with the auto turret in the, at that position, that's a really good auto turret position. And behind that, he's full all in. He's still on two SCVs against eight, so the mining for me is better. And with the hellion, I can kite. Oh, that was really good splash. That's how you have to use the hellion. Uh, I guess I've done it. I guess I've done it. Uh, so close. Don't lose the hellion. Eight kills on that one. The auto turret shooting now, luring those marines into the auto turret. Very smart. Um, yeah, I will lose the supply depot, but I don't need it. Not quite yet. Oh, and now there's the Viking, and that one got the big guns. Uh, Gatling cannon. Pew pew! I guess I hold it. There we go, GG! <sighs> close one. Very close. Very strong, as you can see. Super strong. <sighs> I wanted to show you that. It's very difficult, it's very wild, very action packed, and. Yep. There you go. So, <laughs> with that said. That's how you can try to defend. Use the helium with the splash damage. Repair the auto turret. That would be very important. Pull the CVs. Focus fire. Micro your helium. That's the most important part of all. Uh, don't pull the mules. They don't do anything. They, they do no. Don't pull the pull the mules. Just double click or shift click the SCVs and attack move with everything. Try to go for the marines. They are the real damage dealers. And you might be able to defend. But it's super strong. You saw it. It was very close. And as he left the game, I was like, why did he leave? He had units at home. But yeah, he pulled all the SVs behind it. So that's why. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day. And 